In the previous chapter, we covered the workflow to offset the linear strips of warp list. In this chapter, we will see how to offset the loop strips. The logic is similar to the linear strips but with fewer steps. If we recall, the warp strips were split into two lists. One with 32 linear strips, and the second with 16 loop strips. We start with the list of loop strips, and extract the mesh edges. In loop strip, all the internal edges are loft curves, and we do not have to identify the other two edge curves, as we did in linear strips. Collect all internal mesh edges into a line container, and tag it loft curves. This is a list with 16 branches representing 16 strips, with 32 items in each branch. To organize the loft curves, we need a guide curve created by joining the naked mesh edges. Join the mesh edges using join curves command. And we get two polyline curves for each strip. Use list item to isolate one of these curves as guide curve. This gives us a list of 16 guide curves. Now that we have both the guide curves and loft curves, we can copy the remaining definition from the previous chapter, where we did the same for linear strips. According to the previous definition, we have the curves till this stage. We copy the rest of the definition and paste it below. Connect the loft and guide curves into their respective components. Pan towards the right to see the output surfaces. We can see that surfaces are mostly there, except one face missing from each loop strip. This is because of the steps just before the loft function. Since this strip loops all the way around, the last line of loft curves must loft back with the first line. To do this, replace cull index with shift list. Set the shift input as 1. Graft, simplify, and merge the shifted curve list and the shortened loft curves. This gives us a data tree with multiple branches with two curves in each. Loft these curves to create surfaces representing inset mesh faces. Trim the data tree coming from loft component, and the resulting data tree has 16 branches with 32 surfaces in each. Now we have surfaces representing the inset faces for both linear and loop strips. Merge both surface lists. and we get one consolidated data tree with 48 branches representing all 48 strips of warp strips. Connect all these surfaces into a surface container and internalize the data.
Repeat this entire inset process, and replace the initial input of warp mesh strips with weft mesh strips. The definition will sort the list between loop and linear strips, isolate loft curves, organize, and align the loft curves in the right order, create insets, and finally create the lofted surfaces. Collect the resulting surfaces into a surface container, and internalize the data. This concludes the stage for creating mesh insets. The next chapter will triangulate the surfaces from this stage, and develop slots for cable tie connections.